I had responded to the material because they had created these very three-dimensional female characters, these women that were, you know, equal parts brilliant and funny and cool and supportive of each other. The friendship between Don, Sarah, and Veronica is just like they, they have this um, really progressive female friendship that I have with my own peers and I was so happy to see reflected in their writing because they just embody these really empowered but also grounded women. I think at that restaurant we get to see the way that these three females relate to each other, that we have this you know, modern female friendship that's so supportive and funny and uh, that there's a lot of such love that exists between them. But I think there's also this, you know, a repeated microaggression that we're seeing when we enter the restaurant and then as we're moving through the restaurant that we keep coming up against these kind of microaggressions that are aimed at, um, at Dawn and Veronica that I think Sarah is aware of and yet doesn't, you know, she doesn't really know personally, it doesn't affect her as much. The producers have had, you know, such incredible films under their belts, and I think there is absolutely that sort of zeitgeist that's going on right now that we're stepping into with this film. I think we're absolutely engaging in a conversation that films like uh, Get Out and Us and Black Klansmen have also been addressing. So it seems like we're working with exactly the right people to handle this sort of subject matter, and it doesn't surprise me at all that they would jump at the chance to work on this script. when I was reading the script was that I was kind of feeling like, I'm like, it kept making me want to do a double take. Um, and they've created that, they've, they've sort of seeded something forward that's coming back at us. And so we, we're seeing this foreshadowing, but we don't know what's coming. And we know there's something that, we're, that is coming around the corner, but they've done such a great job of kind of planting it ahead. So you're kind of catching on, but they're always just a step ahead of you. They're extremely talented storytellers and this material is just, I think it's going to knock people's socks off. I think Gerard and Christopher have done an incredible job of turning the camera around on the audience so that we ask ourselves, what, what, have, what have I been informed by? Um, what's, what's informing me? What undercurrents might exist in my life that, I don't, that I'm not aware of or that I haven't looked at yet? Um, I think it will be very powerful for all audiences to become self-reflective and look at this and think, well, what, what, does, what role does the history of my country play in my life currently? Um, and is that something that I should take for granted or is that something that I can shift and move with? Um, and so I think that this film really gives audience members an opportunity to turn and ask themselves the questions about the world in which they exist.